Hey folks, I'm Brittany, and today I wanted to do my Booktubeathon TBR. So, if for those of you who don't know, I'm sure you do know, Booktubeathon is running from July 30th to August 5th, I believe, and Ariel is the one who hosts it. She's beautiful. I love watching her videos, and I will link her down below. I will also link the Booktubeathon YouTube down below in case you guys haven't seen it. I'm, I'm sure you have though. So uh, yeah, let's jump into my TBR. So for challenge number one, it is let a coin toss decide your first read. And for that, I'm going with either The Stepford Wives by Ira Levin or Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. Um, so I guess I will flip a coin and see which one I read first. So Heads is going to be Stepford Wives and Tails is going to be Everything I Never Told You. I have a nickel here and let's see. Tails. So I guess my first read is Everything I Never Told You. Um, I'm not super sure what this is about. It made its rounds on booktube like quite a while ago. I think it was about a Chinese American family and they um like um, maybe their daughter died and they have to like deal with that. So yeah I don't know a whole lot about it. It's short and I thought it could maybe cover the challenge of something that you always wanted to do because I've always wanted to die. And for the third challenge, it is a book-to-movie adaptation, so I am going to go with The Stepford Wives for this. I think this is a movie. Possibly Nicole Kidman is in it. Um, I haven't seen it. I don't even know anything about this. I think it's like an older book, possibly a horror. I think maybe these like ladies are robots. I don't know. I'll find out and I'll let you know, though. So, yeah, and isn't this cover just really odd? I love it. So the next challenge is to read a book while wearing a hat. I am going to be wearing this hat. This is from my friend Laura. Thank you, Laura, for this beautiful hat. And while I am wearing this hat, I am going to be reading Cut by Patricia McCormick. Um, I think this is about a girl who probably cuts and like has to go to a mental institution. I think I read this when I was a teenager and liked it, I'm not expecting to like it this time and probably a lot of trigger warnings for self-harm in this, but we'll see how it goes. The next challenge is to read a book with green on the cover and for that I am going with Hidden by Helen Frost. I think this was about, I just hauled this in my book outlet haul and I think it was about two people who like go to summer camp and um there's like secrets, family secrets, scandals, I'm not really sure. Um, I love summer camp stories and I love secrets and scandals and I don't know, possibly murder, kidnapping, I don't know, but I'll find out. And this is also relatively short. All of these books that I have picked are going to be short because one of the challenges is to read seven books in seven days and that's really scary to me, so I picked the shortest books that I could find. So next up I have Absent by Katie Williams. This is like a really tiny YA book. I mean I think it's only like 200 pages, not even. It's like 170. Um, I don't know anything about this. I have never read a review about it. It's short. Um, it's YA. So I figured I could fly through it. Um, it's about a girl who dies. I think she like falls off the top of the roof at her high school and now she's a ghost and she's like doing ghosty things with the other ghosts there and I think there's like two other ghosty girls and one day she overhears like an old friend talking about how she didn't fall off of the roof and die she like jumped so now she's all pissed off and like that's not how it happened type of thing and then she realizes that she can possess people's bodies at school. And yeah, I don't know. I like ghosts, so maybe this will be good. 
And for the last challenge that I haven't mentioned yet is a book with a beautiful spine. For this, I went with Five to One by Holly Badger. I mean, the spine is like watercolor. It's cute. I enjoy it. There's not many beautiful spines when it comes to short books because they're short, so the spines are small. But anyways, if you haven't heard about this, it is a book about how there are five boys to every one girl um, in this world or whatever. So girls are like, they get to pick their husbands and like they put them through like a series of tests and like, I've always wanted to do that too, you know what I mean? I'm just kidding. And my seventh book is going to be My Friend Dahmer. This is a graphic novel about Jeffrey Dahmer, who I don't know jack shit about, honestly, but I believe, well, he's definitely a serial killer. That's what I do know. And I think this book was like, or this graphic novel was written by like a friend of his in high school, and it's like how he saw his friend. I'm not sure. Maybe it's going to be weird. Uh, worst case scenario, I just learned a bunch of information about a serial killer, which I'm really not opposed to because I do enjoy some spooky se serial killer stuff. So yeah, I'm excited to read this. So that is all the books on my TBR for book two with them on. I am super excited to do this with you guys. Um, if I remember correctly, last year there was video challenges and Instagram challenges and it's just something I've always wanted to do is be making my own videos and participating like in that way with you guys. So I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to do it. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the 30th. Catch you later.